the idea of storing your cooling in ice and using it for a process later has been around uh, for a very long time. Basically, we're making a lot of ice at night and during the day we are melting that ice in order to cool the building. So we're using the same type of mechanical system that's in all large buildings, but we are now decoupling when you make the cooling from when you use the cooling. We were able to create a method that used standard components within the building and by only adding our storage tank, use those components and change it into a ice storage system. In large tanks, which have a lot of water, we have a plastic coil uh, making up what's called a heat exchanger. And through the inside of that three miles of tubing, we circulate a coolant at 25 degrees Fahrenheit at night. And so since that's submerged in water, the water slowly freezes. And by the end of the night, you have a solid block of ice. During the day, you turn off the chiller and you run the liquid through the inside of the tubes. And so that warm liquid starts getting cooled by the ice and that gets transported to the duct coils and you cool the building with that. There's a major cost uh, advantage because your electricity at night is dramatically less expensive. There is a lot of attention moving towards storage, just as there was a lot of attention towards renewables a few years ago. People now realize that the two, renewables and storage, are really linked, and both of them need to be successful if we're gonna start reducing our carbon impacts.